get started. Let's get started. Okay, so morning stretch and mobility. Obviously, we do a lot of this in the evening. Uh, this is also a great practice. I love stretching in the morning, getting the body, waking the body up um, after we've just been horizontal for hours. So um, you need nothing for today unless there's something that you like to add in. I like to sit on my blocks to start um, in my seated position, but you get to choose what you would like. Sitting on the floor is perfectly fine. Okay, so we'll start sit, uh, seated. There comes Susan. Good morning, Susan. You can just take your hands towards your knees or into your lap. So whatever a comfortable position for you seated is, take it there. Maybe drawing a couple of shoulder circles down, up, down, and back to make sure that you have no tension that you're, and the shoulders are not drawing up towards those ears. We're just gonna stay here for a couple of breaths, grounding yourself, taking a moment, and just being aware of how your breath is, not changing it, and just being aware of how your physical body is, maybe making those adjustments, but how are you feeling? Tension, if there's stress within the body, any of those things, just being aware. And then when you are ready, we're gonna draw those shoulders up on your next breath in, so creating the tension, drawing the shoulders up, and then exhale, press them down. So now you're changing your breath. You're making it a lot deeper. Do that again. Breath in, draw the shoulders up. Exhale to press them down. One more time there. Big breath in, shoulders draw up. And exhale down. Good. From there, you're going to take your left hand towards your right trap. So it's that like meaty part in your shoulder just attached into the neck there. And you're gonna draw your right ear over towards that shoulder. So we're working that right side first. You're gonna give a nice little squeeze. Doesn't have to be anything crazy, a nice little squeeze. And then you're gonna draw your left ear and chin over and down. So over and down towards the left as you pull. And you wanna almost think of pulling in that direction away or down towards the shoulder and then reset. Release your grip, right ear comes back over, intensify your grip, and then bring that left sheer, that left ear and chin over, down, and to your left. That should feel good if you carry any tension here. Do it one more time, right ear towards right shoulder, release and then reset your grip, and then left ear over towards left side. Oh, that feels good. And then release that down, okay. Now we're gonna come into our regular stretch for that neck. So we're gonna, we just did that right side. So we're gonna go left ear towards the left shoulder. Take your right fingertips down or back of the hand towards the low back. And then you can take that left hand up. So we are still working that same side. Oh, it always feels so good. Breathing into that right side. Maybe it's dropping that chin down towards your chest to get a bit of a different angle into that neck. Breathing here for three, for two. And for one, okay, drop both hands back to your knees and drop your chin to your chest. Okay, so just cervical, cervical movement here. So just the neck, look up on your breath in, lifting the chin, stretching through the front of the neck and then exhale back of the neck, chin towards chest. Do that two more times, big breath in, look all the way up. Try not to move anything else through the seated position, exhale, lower chin down. One more time there, breath in to look up. And then exhale to drop to the chest. So good. Okay. Other side. So right hand is going to come over to that left shoulder, left ear towards left shoulder. Give a nice squeeze there and then pulling over. Oh, that side's nice and tight. Right ear towards right shoulder. And again, that rotation of your chin and your neck can be vary on how tight that left side is for you. Maybe it's just dropping the ear or over, or maybe it's dropping chin to chest. Try both out just to see how it feels. So release as you come over, give a squeeze, and then pull it over the side. The way worse for me. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Let's give ourselves one more wherever you are at. Release, reset, re-grab, and then pull it over. So, so good. This is when you realize, oh, I really need a massage. <laughs> okay, releasing those hands back towards those knees. We'll stretch out that left side. Take a nice big breath in. 
Exhale, right ear towards right shoulder. Take the left fingertips down or towards the low back. Right hand comes to the top of that head. Maybe just giving a little guide, an extra little pull over. Breathing here for three, for two. So good. And for one, nice job. Okay. From here, we're done with neck and shoulders for the moment. If you are propped up on anything, maybe moving those out of the way, maybe not, you can stay on them if you'd like. We're just gonna come into a little lateral, so getting into the side body. If you were present yesterday, we did lots of core. Left hand down, right arm sweeps up and over. Press both sitting bones into your mat, taking it from right to left. Big stretch over. Oh, it just also feels so good, that side body. Big breath in to come up, exhale to reach over, pressing both down, especially the opposite that you're working. And then the next time you're over to your left and the right arm is up and over, you're gonna hold it there and we're gonna come into a rotation. So reach the arm to a 45 forward and then breath in, think of chest up towards ceiling, reach that arm back. Exhale down, reach it forward, inhale to open, chest up. One more time. Oh, that's a good chest and shoulder stretch as well. Exhale down, inhale to open. So good. Take it over to the right side. We'll do the same thing over there. Reach it over first. Take a breath in. And then exhale forward 45. Inhale, open. Oh my goodness. A little twist, a little twist action there. Thinking of reaching those fingers as far as you can while both sitting bones stay in contact with the floor. Give yourself one more. Exhale, reach. Inhale, open. Nice job. Okay, from there, we're going to come into bottom legs. Soles of the feet together, butterfly legs. You can call them that as well. Take those hands towards the shins, ankle area. And we're going to start with little rotations here through the pelvis and through the low back. So think of your belly button drawing that circle in as those knees try to stay nice and wide. Good, breathing here, getting your biggest range as you rotate around and then change your direction. Oh, all the good feels, all the good feels. Taking it big, low back, hips, pulling the chest forward. Good, give yourself one more rotation, that direction. Okay, from here. We're gonna take our legs out to straddle. Okay, so legs come straight out, flex those toes up as much as you can. Got a little hip cramp. Ooh. Okay, sometimes I go too far and too deep. <laughs> We're not ready for that yet. Okay, flexing those toes up, taking a big breath in, sweep the arms up, rotate towards your right leg, and then shift yourself forward. That hinge flat back from the hip, taking the fingertips either down by the side, you can take them to the shin, if you can reach the sole of the foot, wherever your grip is, think of pulling the shoulders down away from the ears. So if you're feeling them coming up, then maybe not so far forward in your hinge shape. You wanna think of long body and then pulling chest towards that right leg. We breathe here for three, for two, and for one, nice job. Coming back up through center, take another big breath in right there, reach the arms up, rotate upper body towards left side. Again, hinge and fold over that left leg. Toes are nice and flexed here. Also another option, when you're stretching, a nice thing, what we did with that movement at open and close, you can come up slightly, breath in, exhale, maybe you can forward fold a little bit more. Sometimes adding that little bit of breath, that release and active movement, is a great way to kind of get deeper into that stretch or static hold. You can choose breathing there for three, for two, and for one. Making your way back up into center. Final one into the center. Take a nice big breath in. Check in that those toes are coming all the way up. Exhale, folding forward. Maybe placing your hands just slightly in front. A lot of us, this is the hardest one, making sure you're not rounding. So even if it's sitting tall and then just slightly shifting those shoulders and chest forward, that might be intense enough for you. Great place to be working on opening through the hips for three, flexing those toes up for two and for one. Nice job. Okay. Hands are going to come in behind you. Slide those heels in. Knees are high, toes are flexed, and then we're going to drop those legs from right to left. A nice little windshield wiper here. We're going to get some serious work into those hips this morning. Taking those legs from right to left. The next time you're over to your right side, 
hang out there, come on up out of those hands, interlace those hands at your chest if that feels okay. You can also drop that right hand behind you, okay? We're gonna work left side, so you might have to do a little adjustment, making sure you're in your nice 90-90 angles everywhere on that leg. We're gonna take a nice big breath in, lift that left knee up and open, and then exhale, lower it down. Now, as you move your left leg, open it up, exhale to lower, you wanna think of pressing the right shin and knee towards the floor. So if you find that it's coming up with your movement, see if you can, if you can refrain from doing that shifting. Open the left, exhale to lower. This last one here, we're gonna hold together. So lift that knee up, drive the right knee down, breathe there for three, for two, and for one, nice job. Lower that left knee down. You're gonna take your right forearm behind you. I'm just gonna rotate myself. That right forearm behind you, legs stay in 90, 90. Take a nice big sweep of that left arm. Open up the chest and shoulder. Exhale, wrap and reach towards your right ribs. And you are going for your largest rotation here that feels good for you. Breath in to open. Exhale to wrap and reach. Good, we're going for two more. Taking your time. Moving with your breath, open it up on your inhale, exhale, wrap and reach. Good. Final one here, big breath in. Exhale, wrap and reach. So good, okay. Make your way back up. Take those knees from right to left a couple of times into that windshield wiper. Heels and knees are wide here. Taking your time, noticing your internal and external rotation. Notice how the left feels to the right because that is the side we just worked on, okay. Next time you're over to your left side, make your way there, hold it there. Okay, checking with that right 90-90. Leg, interlace those hands at your chest or keep that leg, left hand down when you're ready. Inhale, lifting that right knee. Ooh, we always notice the difference side to side. Exhale, lower down. Remember that left knee is trying to stay down as you move the right with your breath. Inhale to come up, exhale to lower. Both feet are in flexion, so those toes are pulling up. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Excuse me. Breath in, lift. Exhale, lower. All of the feels. Last one, up and hold. Breath in, lift. Drive the knees apart from one another for three, for two, and for one. Left knee comes down. Sorry, right knee comes down. Left forearm behind you. Both legs are at 90 90. We come into our thoracic extension and rotation for the right side. Breath in, reach the arm up and back. Exhale to wrap and reach underneath. Take your time, enjoy. Breath in, exhale, wrap and reach. Good, we've got two more for the side. Big breath in. Open it up, exhale, wrap and reach. One more time here. Make it your biggest, enjoy it the most. Breath in, shoulder, chest opens. Exhale to wrap and reach. Nice job. Take those hands behind you one more time. Windshield away for those legs. Uh, just noticing maybe there's some difference. We didn't do a ton of work. We could have done internal as well, but I know that that's intense. <laughs> We're gonna make our way into our tabletop next. Once you've made it there, add some free play. So you're gonna shift yourself around. Maybe it's lateral, maybe it's bending through those elbows. We're not coming into cat and cows yet. So we're just giving ourselves a moment to check in. Maybe it's taking the knees a little bit wider. Maybe it's tucking the toes, untucking the toes. Just kind of play around. Maybe it circles over those wrists. Just feeling it out. What feels good for you? Good. And then we will all meet back in our neutral table. And we will come into some cat and cows here. Okay, we're gonna think segmental this morning. So we wanna think of vertebrae by vertebrae as you move. It is great for a physical cue if you had a second person with you that could kind of tap as you move. Think of that concept though as you shift. So we're gonna start dropping the tail, or sorry, lifting the tail, dropping the belly, and then working your way up. I'm looking at you guys, so I'm ruining it. Looking all the way up, your gaze is your finish. And then tuck the chin towards the chest, puff your shoulders, thinking of mid-back, upper back, mid-back, low back, and then your pelvis shifting under is the last movement. You want to think of an angry cat here, really puff it all up, and then start again with the pelvis, keep your chin tucked to your chest. Looking down, you can even look down at yourself, watching as you shift, all the way to your gaze, going nice and slow here. 
coming back chin towards chest. You might not be with me, that's okay. Taking your time, taking your time with your breath, and we're gonna do one more. So wherever you are, give yourself one more, nice and slow, taking your time. Oh, amazing. So, 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 so good. Nice job. Okay. Oh, amazing. I love that. Okay, come all the way down onto the belly when you are finished your full series there. When you've made your way down, you can take those hands up towards the top of your mat, creating a little cushion for your head. Take your feet and untuck your toes. Take the feet a little bit wider. And just give yourself a nice little wiggle through those hips, side to side, just releasing anything that might be going on in the low back and the hips. Okay, we are gonna go into the shoulders here. This is a tough one. We've done it, a, we did it a long time ago. I'm gonna come up, you guys stay down, just have a look. You're going to come into a little bit of an angel arm. So you're gonna take those hands in behind the head towards that neck, and then you're gonna reach the arms around, a big angel arms, and then rotate so that those hands come to the low back, palms facing up. Big breath in, rotate it around. Hands come towards the base of the neck and then hold for a moment, big breath in, reach it around. You are doing this while laying on your stomach. This is a great shoulder mobility exercise, noticing how it feels for you. Breath in, reach it around, make it as big as you can. Hands rest to the low back. You can drop those elbows down and hang out there for a minute. That's always good. Breath in, reach it around. We're gonna do one more full range here. Breath in, when you are ready, reach those arms, around. extend through the fingertips, reach as much as you can, get those hands high up as much as you can, drop the elbows, and then slowly return all the way back up to the top. Okay, amazing. Give those hips a little wiggle from side to side one more time, and sometimes that creates a little bit of tension. We're gonna come into our quad stretch, so the left hand can stay at the front of your mat, bend through that right leg, release that right hand back to the top of the right foot. Okay, so from here, we wanna think of a nice little tuck of the tail, a squeeze of the glutes, breathing here, resting that forehead down onto the forearm, or you can take the side of the head down toward the mat, whatever feels good for you. Woo, we got some tight quads, tight hips here. Breathing for three. Big belly breath, feeling that belly pressing into your mat for two. And for what? Now, option, you can stay here. This is good enough for you. Option two, you can kick your foot into your hand, coming into a slight back bend, pressing into that left forearm, squeezing the glutes, pressing that belly into the floor a little bit more, breathing there for three, or regular quad stretch for two and for one. Okay, slowly release that leg. Oh, give those hips a wiggle from right to left. Releasing any tension, we switch to the other side, bending through the left leg, reaching that left arm back, and then staying static in that quad stretch. Woo! Breathing there. Again, tucking that tail, pressing the low abs and the hips into your mat, feeling your belly breath in your mat as well. Big breath in and big breath out. Oh, that feels so good. If you would like, you can add in that little back bend coming up onto that right forearm, pressing that left foot into the left hand. Ooh, intensifying that stretch. Maybe you can stay just in quad stretch and that's enough for you. Breathing here for three. Big belly breath in for two. And for one, good. Okay, slowly release that side. Wiggle those hips from right to left one more time. Slide those hands underneath of the shoulder. Press yourself up and back to a nice wide, Child's pose. So take those knees wide, take those toes to touch, walk those hands far forward. Oh, enjoy that. Press the hips back, breathing into that low back, and then we'll take it to the right. Walk those hands over to the right. Left hand can either come on top or see if you can reach it a little bit further. Press into your left hip. Big breath in, get that nice lateral stretch along the left side for three, for two. And for one, walk back through center, come on over to the left side, reach the right fingertips a little further forward. Really drive that right hip back towards that right heel and reach around so you get that nice lateral stretch through the right side for three, for two, and for one. All right, make your way up and around. We're gonna transition ourselves to be on our backs. We need nothing here. If you wanna grab a sip of water before you make your way down, 
great place to be. We're actually going to start in fetal position, okay? So right arm is going to come forward. This is a great place if you want to add a cushion, a block, a pillow, whatever you have, or not, you do not need it. Right arm is going to come forward so that the palm's facing up. Those knees are going to stay stacked. So you can think of that 90 degree bend into those legs. So we're going to get into a nice little twist as well as stretch out chest and shoulder. Left hand, we do this one quite often, I love it. Left hand comes to the top of that right hand. We're gonna sweep and trace those fingers all the way up overhead to come into that big full T. Now you're gonna notice if your chest and shoulders are tight right away, your knees stay towards one another as much as you can. Exhale to return that left arm. Tracing the left arm up overhead, that's your breath in movement. In breath, in breath, in breath, in. And exhale to release and close. We're gonna do that two more times on the side. Big breath in, open it all up. Oh, that feels so good through chest and shoulders. Amazing, last one here. Return on your exhale, breath in, trace the fingers up overhead. And then you're gonna stay in that T shape once you've made it there. So think of really ch chest and shoulder stretch here for the front, breathing for three, for two, and for one, take your right hand to your right, sorry, to your left knee, hug your left knee in a little bit more and slide your right leg into extension. You are now in your twist. Oh, that feels good. Maybe it's extending the left leg so it's fully extended out and maybe you can reach your left toes, maybe. If not, keep that hand towards that left knee, that works. You are choosing your deepest twist stretch, breathing into that low back for three, for two, and for one. Rolling onto your back. Okay. Oh, bending in that right leg, all of the feels, bending in that right leg, that left heel or leg is going to hook onto the right. Coming into figure four. We did lots of glute work yesterday. We're gonna get into that glute for sure. Lift off your right foot. Your left foot is hooked on the right. You can come on through into that hamstring, wrapping those fingers, or you can stay cradling that foot and knee. Think of both feet in flexion and think of that right knee driving into the body here. And maybe you wanna add a little rock from side to side. Oh, you will notice Ah, oh, all of the feels. Definitely when you come over to each side. Or you can stay static, that's fine too. Just adding in that little movement just creates different shifts for each, um, each muscle group as you move. Okay, breathing here for three. For two, we'll lift head, neck, and shoulders, chest towards that shin. Give yourself a big squeeze, breath in. Amazing, lower that down. Take those feet wide and then rock those legs from right to left, a little laying, a little laying windshield wiper action. Amazing. We're gonna do the same for the other side. So you're gonna roll over onto that left side. That left arm comes out to the side, palm facing down. Knees are in that feel, so they're nice and stacked. Head can be resting down, or you can take a block there as well. Right hand comes to meet the left tracing the fingers all the way up overhead on that inhale, all the way around to that nice big T. Oh, exhale to release. Okay, so you have three more on your own with your breath. Breath in to reach it up and around, open through chest and shoulder. Exhale to release and close. Two more, going at your own pace. Oh, open it all up. Opening that chest and shoulder here. Exhale to close. You have one left right here. Big breath in, trace and make that arch as high and as big as you can. And then end in that T shape. Hang out here, thinking of reaching both fingers, both directions, opposite directions. Breathing there for three, for two, and for one. Left hand comes to right leg. Okay, let me get this straight. Left leg slides out in extension. You're now in your twist. Okay, we got it, we got it. <laughs> All the lefts and rights this morning. Now you have that option to extend through that left leg if you can reach towards your left toes. Amazing. If not, you're staying in that twist. We're breathing into that low back. Right arm, palm is up. Chest and shoulder stretch there for three. 
for two and for one. Okay, rolling all the way onto your back. We've got figure four stretch for the other side. Right foot is down. No, nope. left foot is down. Right foot hooks. <laughs> now we're messing up the rights and lefts. Left foot is down. Right foot hooks. Press that right knee open and away and then lift off that left foot. Okay, it's because I changed directions. Now I'm all confused. Flex both feet. Option to thread those hands underneath towards that left hamstring. You want to think of that left knee driving in towards that chest as much as you can. Big breath in and big breath out there. Keep driving that right knee open and away. Oh, so good. Big breath in and big breath out. Amazing, amazing. Okay, lift head down your shoulders. Pull that chin in towards the chest. Big inhale. And then exhale, release that down. Take those feet wide one more time. Windshield wiper those legs from right to left. Amazing. Okay, we're going to finish with uh, a couple of hamstring stretches here. And then we are all done. i got to turn myself back. That throws me off being that way. Okay, option. Left foot can be planted or extended out. Reach that right heel up towards sky ceiling. Flex through those toes. If you'd like to use a prop here, great place to hook it onto the foot. We are not adding any movement other than pointing and flexing that toe. So we're going to get into that ankle, into the calf, as well as the hamstring, of course. So you are just going nice and slow, holding one, two in the flex. Exhale to point. Inhale to pull in. Exhale to point. Oh, that feels so good. If you do a lot of walking or running, this is a great stretch for that ankle. Breath in, pull the toes, exhale to point. One more time, inhale, pull in. Exhale to point. Okay, flexion, pull the toes back in. Lift head, neck and shoulders one more time. Give that nice pull there for three. For two. Release that down. Oh, that's needed. Okay, other side, left leg comes up. Flex that heel to start. Option to have that right leg bent or extended, you choose, depending on how those hamstrings are feeling. Okay, become inhale and exhale to point. Inhale, flexion. Exhale, extension. Oh, so good. Keep going, keep going. Working with your breath, trying to relax the face. This can be intense for some of us. Breath in to pull it in. Exhale to point. Two more. Breath in. And get your biggest range. Go slow. Last one. Breath in. Oh, exhale point. Pull it in. Hold it there. Lift head, neck, and shoulders. Breathing there for three. For two. And release that down. Hug both knees into the chest. Take your hands around the shins. Give a little rock from side to side. We're going to go into a little happy baby. So we're taking those feet up, hands towards the outside edges of those feet, or you can do peace fingers to big toes. Maybe it's a static happy baby. Maybe it's a rocking one. Whatever it is for you, pull those knees nice and wide to the ribs, getting that nice stretch through the hamstrings and hips once again. Oh, amazing, amazing. Felt so good. Okay, take those knees back towards one another. Take the hands in behind those legs. Rock yourself along. That's fine. One, two, three times as many feels good for you. And then you can make your way up to seated. Extending both legs out here. We're going to finish off with a lovely forward fold. You guys know this drill. You can bend your knees. You cannot. You can round your back. You can extend your back. You can grab feet, shins, whatever feels good for you. Before you fold, take a nice breath in. Reach those arms all the way up. So think of length first, and then exhale, folding to what feels good for you. So bending those knees or not, grabbing a hold of what you can. You can use a prop here. Round the shoulders, extend through the spine, whatever feels best. Breathing for five, for four. Oh, good hamstring stretch for three, as well as that low back for two. And release on one. Uh, so good, so good. Amazing, amazing job. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It is a lovely way to wake up the body. I think that we're all going to have a better day for it. Don't you? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>
amazing. Coming for a quick little, a quick little something. Thumbs up. Michelle's giving a thumbs up, a piece, a flex, whatever you want. Give me something. Give me some love. Give me some love. Amazing. Thanks, guys. I was going to say, okay, it's time to stretch. No, just kidding. It's not. We just did. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, 8 a.m., arms and back. So 8 a.m., warm up 750, the usual, and all the information for the next block. Next week is another free week, I've decided. I'm going to explain why in the group chat. Yeah, yay. Look, at Philip's so excited about that. I know, I know. I'm just so nice. No, um, and then we start our, we, you'll see. The dates are on my story. So go check that out on Instagram and I will be sending out an email as well. Thanks guys. See you all soon. Bye everyone.